We're having a look at my hardy fuchsia. They're just coming into flower now after being dormant all winter. They die down, they're deciduous, and during the winter they look like little sticks. And then just before the end of the frost or the cold spell, you can chop them right back and they will flush out with lots of dew green growth as they've done here. The really interesting thing, apart from being so beautiful and really um, ornamental, is that all parts of this shrub are in fact edible. You can eat the nice leaves and you can eat the flowers. I read not to eat those long bits here, but everything else you can eat. And you can eat the berries that come later on. If you look at the top of the flower buds here, you can see these little bits here will become berries. And one over here has actually lost the flowery area, petals, and it's becoming a berry. They will ripen and turn completely black. And depending on the cultural you have, that will actually depend on how, how sweet they are. They taste really nice. These ones taste a bit like grapes maybe with a bit of brown sugar in, a really sort of sweet flavor once they're ripened. And they're really healthy, full of vitamin C, just really interesting to have. And the best thing about them is also that they flower throughout the whole summer. So you have them in different stages of, of flowering and ripening and everything, like little buds up here, loads of them. And so you can just have like a steady supply of these berries as they constantly ripen and, and flower. Really interesting, beautiful berries. So if you already have some of these flowers out in your garden, once they're ripened, once they're quite dark, just go, go and give them a little nibble and see if you've got a nice tasting variety because there are loads of different ones and some of them just, just taste really amazing. So I'll take you inside and show you what I've got growing in there. Now here's my little seedling tray of Fuchsia boliviana. I was actually looking to see if I could just buy some, you know, little plants that could give me a head start on the year, but I just couldn't find any at all. And so I did find this from Plant World Seeds. And it had a few seeds in there, not many, but obviously I don't need that many plants. And as you can see, the flowers are really, well, they probably can't see how long they are, but they're supposed to be really long and they're really beautiful. And it does take, it take between four to six weeks for them to start germinating, but I had them on a warm windowsill and this kind of little tray, which I also had like some covering on. So I had like this little kind of cover, a little plastic cover which sort of makes it more like a greenhouse in there, just keeps it really moist and everything, which is obviously really good. And they germinated within a few weeks, and then I could prick them out sort of maybe six weeks later. And they've been in, the, in this little, little areas here in their own little individual cells for maybe three weeks or four weeks at most. And so now I'm thinking that some of them are the right size that I could start thinking about pinching them, the tops off so they can start branching out a bit. Because what I read is that they can actually grow up to being five feet in the first year and they're not going to flower until next year unless I'm really lucky I mean I'll obviously keep you posted it'd be wonderful but I don't think they're going to I'm not counting on it I believe I believe they take until they'll start flowering next year and I'll have to overwinter them somewhere where they're a bit protected from frosts and and freezing temperatures probably in the greenhouse um, but, and, and also well, well wrapped in that greenhouse because my greenhouse is unheated and it can get quite cold in there anyhow. So I'll have to keep them well wrapped, well protected, and also trim them right down before winter. But it's a really fun project and it's exciting to try these. These are the kind that are grown for their crop in Bolivia. And they sort of sell them on the fruit markets, these really quite large berries, the size of a large grape, I believe. And they're meant to have like t sort of tastes of kiwi and maybe a bit of citrus in there and figs as well. And I love figs. It'd be wonderful to have some that taste like that. I'm really excited about trying these. Um, they were obviously so far, they've been quite easy to grow. Um, not as easy as the hardy ones, which you just sort of leave to themselves. But so these ones do need to have sort of a bit of care and a bit of winter protection, which is a bit tricky. Um, not, that, not super simple. But, um, but yeah, so far they've been going well and I will let you know how it goes. But really fun to grow your own little ones. And I do hope I have some people who want to have some friends who want to have some of these because I'll I think I'll have a few too many. They've all germinated. So yeah, really great company to buy seeds from, I think. Lovely little flowers. So there we go. Fuchsia Boliviana. I just wanted to show you a little bit about nipping the tops off this one. So if you look at it, you can see that if I leave it unnipped, in the top, it will just continue going really, really tall from the central leader. But if I do cut the top off, which I'm going to do right about 
here, you can see that those little branches down there, they're going to branch out right there and the ones below, and I'm going to get some nice, a bushier, a much bushier little plant, and a sturdier plant too. And of course, more branches eventually means more fruit, way down the line in this case, but it's still, it's just a good thing to get started with branching it out, I think. So I'm going to carry on doing it with the rest of them. Some of them need to wait like this little guy here. I need to wait a little bit more, just for a few more leaves, I think. But yeah, I think I can do this guy too. He's got a few, you see these little nodes down there, they're really, really obvious, so good candidates. But they're still quite small, some of them, so. But I'll definitely do updates and let you know how it goes, because it's such a fun thing to grow new plants. I'll see you next time.